Hi, let's look at this moral sums question here. We are told that sweets were given out at a carnival. 863 sweets were given out on Saturday and 560 more were given out on Sunday. How many sweets were given out on both days altogether? So the first step is always to extract this information and represent it in a proper model. Correct? So let's look at it step by step. So there are two days here, Saturday and Sunday. So for the first day, Saturday, we know that 863 sweets were given out. So let's do that first. So let me draw a model here. Okay, and I'm going to uh, label this as Saturday. Okay, and I'm going to put the number here, 863. So we know that 863 sweets were given out on Saturday. Now, the next line tells us that 560 more sweets were given out on Sunday. So whenever we see the word more, it means that we first need to replicate the number already given to us and then we need to add. Okay, we need to add 560 to that number. So what is the number already given to us? That is 863. Right, because is, when we say 560 more, we are talking about 560 more than what was given out on Saturday. So the first step would be to draw a similar block okay, and represent this as the first step. That means on Sunday, we first managed to give out 863 sweets and beyond that, we managed to give out another 560 more. Okay, so this 560 more, we will represent it with an additional block over here. Okay, and we'll put the number here 560. So this is basically how you draw the model. Okay, as you can see on Saturday, we already given straightforward in the question that we are, uh, we have given out 863 sweets. But on Sunday, the information given to us is it is 560 more than what was given out on Saturday. Correct. So what we need to do for Sunday is to first replicate the same model that we already have for Saturday and then draw another block next to it and write the number 560. So this is the additional that we have given out on Sunday. Now what is the question asking us to find? How many sweets were given out on both days all together? Alright, so what we can do is or what we need to do is we need to add up all of these numbers. Okay, you need to add up all of these numbers, all right, to find out the total number of sweets that were given out on both days. Okay, so I'm going to do it uh, step by step. So the first thing I'm going to do is, for Saturday, we already know it's 863. What I'm going to do is I'm first going to find out how much or how many sweets were given out on Sunday. Okay, so on Sunday, okay, on Sunday, how many sweets were given out? So to do that, we add 863 with 560. So we take 863, add with 560. Okay, so let's do this addition over here. So 3 plus 0, we get 3. 6 plus 6 is 12. 2 carry 1. 8 plus 5 plus 1 is uh, 14. So 1, 4, 2, 3. Alright, so this represents the total number of sweets that were given out on Sunday. The question that we're supposed to answer is the total number of sweets that were given out on both days all together. So what we need to do is we need to sum up both of this together. So we need to take 1, 4, 2, 3, all right, add with 863. Okay, so this is for both days. Okay, so let's do the addition over here. So 3 plus 3, you get 6. Uh, 2 plus 6, you have 8. 4 plus 8, you get 12. So 2 carry 1. And 1 plus 1, you get 2. So that is your final answer here. How many sweets were given out on both days altogether? So to do that, you need to add up the total number of sweets on both days. So 1, 4, 2, 3, 1,423 represents the number of sweets given out on Sunday okay, and 863 represents the total number of sweets given out on Saturday okay, and by adding them up together you get the final answer of 
2286. Alright, so I hope that this has given you a good idea of how to solve such moral sum questions. Thank you for watching and I will see you in my next video. Thank you. Bye.